How do, the other digit died from smoke inhalation. Hey, Firefly. How's it going? So, how you doing over there? Um, are you there? Dude, the, you know the original digit died? No. Secondhand smoke inhalation. <laughs> Check it. Let's look on your screen. You can see it. Yes, don't be afraid to cross over. This is totally an interactive environment right now. We're doing something. Dude, even Digit dressed up for you. He put a tie on. Oh, uh, hi. Um, I put a tie on for you because this is a fancy day for us here at the headquarters. Um, I'm test writing my new, um, te test writing my new playhouse. And they have asked me to shoot what they are, they, what they, what they are calling a commercial spot for the movie trailer. <clears throat> really? Are you just really fishbowling, all of you? Sweet. Now it doesn't matter if we make mistakes. Pressure's off. Alright. How's that picture look on there? I forgot the damn bread with dinner. Oh, Is that oh. good? Like that? Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, hold on. Let me just get it. See, I want it, I want it to show that it's actually a box. You sure? Oh, yeah. It's just like Playhouse. Fish bowling is when you just leave us on. Oh wait, Digit, you tell her. Oh, <laughs> uh, fish bowling is when you just leave us on. I don't know who I'm talking to because. Pluck a tail feather. Pl hey, pluck a tail feather. Um, I'm going to, um, perform for you. Just uh, to get her. Just, you you like that? Like look on there now. Like is that framed good? <laughs> I like the tie. Right? He's so fancy, yeah, dude. so less pixely than the droid. It's so much better, yeah. Alright. Hi. I am Digit the Midget, and I am traveling the country with Nathan Moore, the singer-songwriter, Chad Galactic, the road manager, and Liz Bunny, the business model. For four months, we will be webcasting our life on the road 24-7 at H-I-P-P-Y Fiasco, hippiefiasco.com, picking up gigs along the way that we call fiascos. A fiasco is a truly interactive musical experience where you, as the host, get to live out your dreams. We encourage your guests 
to release the song within them and join the Morkestra, playing their musical instruments or kazoos along with Nathan from where they sit. We go only where we are called, so don't be shy. Come out and play. Click host a fiasco at hippiefiasco.com. Submit your idea and like magic, poof! We are there in your backyard, um, in your living room, and um, your houseboat, or the porch, or the park. Our tour ends 4th of July weekend at High Sierra, at the, at the, at the, at the High Sierra Music Festival, so submit your ideas fast. If you do this, you will be, number one, you will have nailed it! Uh, was that good? Not bad. Um, like a tail feather says she likes it better when you can't tell it's a box. Okay. Um, so maybe try one like that. Like that? And again, once we get a few of these, I can really cut. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Actually, is there not enough light for you to close the lid, or is there? Uh, yeah, that's actually really good. If you close the lid? Yeah, it's closed now. Should I just get like like that, like all the way up? Like check it. Here, I'm gonna zoom in. Yeah, totally right. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it's fucking like a real deal now. We should make curtains for it right now. It's so sick. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, it's hard for me to read the script now. Oh, maybe I can go around the other side. Oh yeah, that'd be tits. Can you mail it to me? Uh, Copy paste. Yep. Mm -hmm. I did too. Uh huh. I'm sure shit did. <sighs> I'm sure shit did. Yeah, okay, thank you. The accent yeah, is ridiculous. Know. Thanks, pluck a tail feather. Uh, I take a lot of pride in my accenting. Thank you. I take the pride in my accenting. Uh-huh. That's why I brought three pieces of bread. Did you add any piece of bread? Well, I gave them the You did? Yeah, it's behind me. Oh, my butt? Don't lay in it. It's buttered. Ew. I think I did the right password. It's hard to type with the goggles on, dude. Just FYI, if you're ever if you're ever like thinking about doing it, it's super hard. I don't remember what else I got at the store. Oh, I got yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah. Mm. What? Oh. Why? Too many choices. Well, you don't do milk. Well, there was just like, wasn't the brandy yogurt that I usually get in like the little cartons? And I wanted like strawberry and I wanted vanilla. So I couldn't just get it. I wanted like other ones too. But they didn't really have the really good stuff. You got it. And then there was like cost and there was like package was like four banana strawberry and four strawberry and then I was just like why am I gonna get that and all that have all that packaging and then I could just get like one big thing of vanilla um maybe I'm gonna go I'm gonna go pee really and then the ricotta the ricotta cheese was right next oh, to the, the to the yogurt and then so was the cottage cheese and then I got like all cheese freaked out and I was like well I'll just get like all the yogurt that I want and the ricotta cheese 
and you got the ricotta? Cottage, no, and the cottage cheese. And I was like, well, god damn it, I already have goat cheese <laughs> and mozzarella cheese. I was just like, I get a little bit crazy when it comes to cheese. So I just said, fuck it, and I just got the big thing. Uh -huh. Really the best deal. What are you gonna do? Eat that plain or add stuff to it? Well, I usually add fruit and stuff to it, but I didn't get any strawberries or blueberries to add to it. There's bananas. And I usually add granola too, but I didn't get any granola. Yeah. At that point, at that point, I had like an overload problem happening. Did you bring a water down or something? No, I have tea right Shit. there. Shit, wanted to get one. Okay. Oh. At that point, I had an overload, so I had to get out of the store. I was like, I was like walking from one end of the store to the other end of the store. Which one did you go to? Food line? Uh huh. I'm not kidding. How's the sound on there? Like, are you there, Liz? To somebody else. No. Oh, okay. I did. What? Just get so confused. But I gotta eat guys bologna and apple cider. <laughs> <coughs> Did Chad ask for a bologna? No. Why? Nobody ever really wishes on bologna, dude. I figure why you got us bologna. I don't know. Because <laughs> boys like bologna and because you're both full of it. <laughs> right? That's really why I got it. Because I want Did you get some, like, is it, did you get, like, the very base? Chiba's bologna or? No, I got Oscar Mayer. Beef bologna. <laughs> yeah. What? If you get bologna, no bologna, you have to go to the, you have to have them carve it off the, the log. Right. Or whatever. Yeah, I couldn't figure out the deli. I, got, I have problems in supermarkets, all right? A lot of people do. Okay. Yeah, it looks great. Okay. The freaky place. Hi, I am Digit the Midget, and I'm uh, traveling the country with Nathan Moore, the singer songwriter, the Chad Galactic, the road manager, and the Liz Bunny business model. Um, for the four for the four months, we've been webcasting our life on the road, um, twenty four seven at Hippie. Right, f cut. Go back. You're uh, you're all laying on the floor, wriggling around. <laughs> Stay straight. Look at the camera. <laughs> it looks great. Looks great. <laughs> Another makers. One more makers for Digit, and we're rolling. Hi, I am Digit the Midget. I'm traveling the country with the Nathan Moore singer songwriter, Chad Galactic the road manager. And Liz Bunny, the business model. For four months, we'll be webcasting our life on the road 24 7 at hippiefiasco.com, picking up gigs along the way that we call fiascos. A fiasco is a truly interactive musical experience where you, as the host, get to live out your dream. I don't know about that part. Uh, me either. I don't know about that part either. What do you get to do? <laughs> I was really... Can we nail it before... Yeah, let's nail it before... I, um, yeah. I have a pen or something. What is that? Yo. Duty on my pants. Oh, it's a pencil. Watch out for the butter roll.
This is officially my second favorite. Fi What's your first favorite fiasco moment? There's some sauce in there. I'm gonna dip it in there too. Make me grab a bottle. It's coffee? No, it's good. Oh, uh, yeah. The uh, seminar on sadness? No. Seminar on getting old. Off the deep end. Oh, the dad. The jab. It's like a Seinfeld episode. It starts with the on it. The nipple. Super hungover. Nathan, will you pass me the makers? This is how to make you puke. Somebody's gonna fucking puke from Hippie Fiasco, god damn it. Might as well be you, Pork the Tail Feather. Let me finish chewing this. My head neck is kind of hurting my puke. Like what? Like here? Your head neck? <laughs> There was not one on sadness. I was confused. <laughs> Dude, I bet you. I'll make you puke at high zero. Dude, I know somebody who can make you puke. Uh, I can make you puke. Just give me a shot, coach. Put me in. I'm down. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's I C K mean? Oh, ick. Did you read that? <laughs> I ordered a Maker's Mark drink this weekend in honor of you guys, and I couldn't even drink it. Yeah. Um, virgins try and they start mixing it with stuff, and eventually it grows on you like a herpy. I really wish he had a cigarette in his mouth. Mm hmm. Got it. This is the Melissa thing. I'm looking for paper. But it, it'll be easier to glue this. Super glue? Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, pluck a tail feather. I'm either going to glue this to my finger, glue my finger together, or glue my finger up your nose. We'll see. Drop. feel like I'm doing a lot with my fingers. Is it good, dude? Go on there. Never f stick your finger up a smoker's nose. You should know that. All right, Spankney. All right, so should have put a uh, should have put a a filter on this puppy. <laughs> Check him. 
I'm not uh, sure. Maybe she has to wing it a few more times. I like it. I like having. I I, I really That's like great. it. Yeah. I I, I could. We, we could really if we just sit down, and we can nail it in like right. one or two times. Like ju like depending on how good I read it. How do we it. describe it? Someone describe a fiasco in a sentence or less. Um. We're sh we're well, Welcome to Happy Fiasco Rides again. We're shooting our uh, commercial here. Trying to explain what it all is to people. We like need a, a good sentence for what a fiasco is. It describes the participatory nature of the music and the, and the host. Could be two sentences. One for the host, one for the participation. If there's any English majors out there. Or journalists. I, see, originally, like, I... Do you remember? It, it was like... Have you ever wanted Nathan more to play at your house or at a campfire with you you know what i mean and and to me that was like like you know like imagine like and this is the exact same thing that they did in la at that fiasco oh my god i want that dude to party with us I mean, you know, minus the like funeral part and birthday pretty much like i want that dude to party with us right One sentence or two. Digit should roll his own cigarette, but he lacks an opposable thumb. That's the that's the rub. Right there. That's the rub. I don't think I'll be able to say that ever and not think of my buddy. Moccasin clown moccasin. That was his name. He can roll it just with his one finger. He can also do sit-ups <clears throat> and smoking. Ooh. I'm doing sit-ups, getting ready for my commercial. I'm doing pull-ups. Oh, I'm ready to tie one on. Check out my ass. Oh, wait. Where's my pen? Where's the pen? You gave it to me. I did. I think my abs are nice. Check out my ass. <sighs> yep, we're bumping up in guests because everybody's hearing digits in, in the studio. Digit, you guys, tell all your friends, Twitter, Facebook. Um, twat, face blast. Twat, face blast. <laughs> um, what was the one they were talking about in <laughs> New Orleans? Shit, somebody go back and, and look. I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Twitter, face blast, face blog, that Digit is in the, he is in the studio. Are you drunk again, pluck a tail feather? I read your thing and got the gist of it. I... Twitter, MySpace, and I'll Google all over your Facebook. Twitter, Face Blast, and I'll Google all over your... Twitter, MySpace, and I will Google all over your Facebook. Dude, I'll Face Blast all over your Google. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> come on. Whoever wrote that? Uh, run shit by me next time. Jesus. Oh, you're in the wrong chat? How many chats are you in, Pluck a TF? Yeah, I know. Oh, well, how's it? Read it again. Twitter, MySpace, and I will Google all over your Facebook. Put your twatter on my Facebook, <laughs> and I'll face blast on your Google. <laughs> <laughs> I can deliver it like it's not canned, bro. 
Just give me the shot, coach. Just give me the shot. Put me in. So you get a pass with what? Tell your friend to log on here. How about that? Who's your friend? Is your friend cool enough to be a creeper? Firefly, are you on? Nine lives? Kai Cat? He's too, what kind of pass do you get? Steve, he's too cool. Wait, stay for the final cut of the commercial, wouldn't you? Then I'm going to call you. You're walking? Or you're walking? Just waiting for our writers in the other studio to fax us an acceptable speech. Um... An acceptable speech for Digit to give. We, they've got to, of course, come up with the verbiage, send it up through legal. Legal's got to then send it via courier down to the tube where they send it down into our office. And, I mean, as you can imagine, that's a four step process, all of which takes a long time. I mean, we try to make it fast with the legal because they're expensive. Um, so, donate, donate, donate. Art and lawyers are killing, well, um, pretty things and lawyers are killing art. Oh my god, you, you dropped phone your phone, too. you dropped your phone in the airport toilet. You know, it's funny, I just went upstairs to pee and I was going to pretend that I dropped Digit's fingers in the, in the, uh, toilet. Oh, uh, and by the way, smell me, I smell like penis. Does that what penis smells like, the inside of a toilet? Well, no, I was holding a penis just a second ago. But I didn't have the cigarette in. You try that. That's what she I've never come in with the cigarette. It's all right. right. That's, that's a tricky thing. Yeah, it was. What? What's gross? Oh, your phone is gross. Put it in a bag of rice. It works. How about that? Is that it? Yeah. I bowed down. Yep, okay. Hi, I am Digit the Midget. I am traveling the country with Nathan Moore, the singer-songwriter, Chad Galactic, the road manager, and Liz Bunny, the business model. For four months, we are webcasting our life on the road 24-7 um, at hippiefiasco.com, peaking, peaking up the gigs along the way that we call fiascos. A fiasco is a truly interactive, intimate musical experience um, which is hosted by someone in their home or venue of their choice. And the um, attendees are encouraged to sing and play musical instruments or kazoos from where they sit, forming what has come to be called the orchestra. We go only where we are called, so don't be shy. Come out and play. Click host a fiasco at hippiefiasco.com. <coughs> Submit your idea and um, like magic. Poof! You, we are in your backyard, uh, living room, uh, the houseboat uh, 
porch or the park uh, our tour ends 4th of July weekend at the High Sierra Music Festival so submit your ideas fast if you do so you will be number one uh, oh, shit number one <laughs> number We won, and you have nailed it. <clears throat> that was awesome. Hey, do it again. I, I didn't like uh, being able to see the bottom of the box. Okay. And uh, maybe you should start with... Uh, I just got my hair cut and nailed it. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and not, not, what about the end there? You're number one. Yeah. And then not nailed it. Because I, I already used Okay. All right, take 26. You know, it's... <sighs> the poof was great. Yeah, thanks. I, I worked on that. We, we did that. So I've got some sort of... So if I put little brackets on it, It'd be like, it can be sort of flush, huh? Because it's being lit by the screen. Mm hmm Like really well Yeah, but see, when I, if I'm standing screen. up, then he's he has to be like this. Oh, look how perfect that is. Why don't you just hold it there? Okay. And I'll just sort of watch him to make sure I'm looking at his glasses. Oh, my God, look at that. Okay. Hi, I am Digit the Midget. Just got my hair cut. <laughs> Nailed it! Weird. I'm traveling the country with um, Nathan Moore, singer-songwriter, Chad Galactic, the road manager, and Liz Bunny, business model. For four months, we are webcasting our life on the road 24-7 um, at uh, hippiefiasco.com, picking up the gigs along the way that we call fiascos. A fiasco is um, basically a true, interactive, intimate musical experience which is hosted by someone to uh, in their home or venue um, or their... That's cool. I'm so psyched about awesome. So I'm going to put a little bracket there. And just hang it over? Yeah, you just hang there. Okay. I can't believe how well the screen lights it. I know. It tickles me. Uh, I, I tickled you. I feel like my it's a little my tie needs to be in there. Hi, I'm Digit the Midget. I just got my hair cut. Nailed it! I'm traveling the country with Nathan Moore, singer-songwriter, Chad Galactic, road manager, and Liz Bunny, the business model. For four months, we are webcasting our life on the road 24-7 at hippiefiasco.com, picking up the gigs along the way um, that we call fiascos. A fiasco is a truly interactive, intimate musical experience, which is hosted by someone um, in their home or venue of their choice, and attendees are encouraged to sing and play musical instruments, or kazoos from where they sit, which has come to be called the Morchestra. We go only where we're called, so don't be shy. Come out and play. Click host a fiasco at hippiefiasco.com, submit your idea, and like magic, poof, there we are in your backyard, your living room, uh, uh, the houseboat, uh, the porch, or the park. Or um, our tour ends 4th of July weekend at High Sierra Music Festival. So submit your ideas um, fast. If you do, you will be number one. Thank you and good night. That was awesome. All right. So uh, now if we could just I, get I go over here to like stop because I feel like we're filming. <laughs> it's like, no, it's I, just, I wish the thing could smoke. Cigarette, you know. You could you could light it and blow it out right at the beginning. <coughs> and just have it be like be like a little stream of smoke right at the top. It'd be risky. <laughs> um What'd you guys think of that one? I, I, I think that we we have to do something else now. Um 
because this is good, and I probably we can use that one in its entirety. We should stream that. Do one. something other, but, but for the other thing, for the, that part in the movie, like what we really what we really need in this highlight movie is because uh, some of those things are covered. Okay, well we don't need to say who we're with. Right. Right. Who he's with. Right. Okay. Um, does it say about four months in webcasting? I could just say, I'm digital for four months we're webcasting our life, picking up gigs that we call fiascos, a truly interact, you know, and then, then cut out a fiasco. Uh, we call fiascos a truly interactive, intimate musical experience hosted by someone in their home or venue of their choice. Right. Attendees are encouraged to sing and play musical instruments from where they sit, forming what's called an orchestra. Right, then it goes right in the, to her puppet saying, so you can be a part of the orchestra. But then what about we only go where we're called. I mean, that's... No, it's... It should be something about that. Um, but maybe it should be... Uh... Okay, well, what if what if it says... In, okay, uh, a, a, a fiasco... Uh, what we call a fiasco, a truly interactive, intimate musical experience, which is hosted by someone in their own home, or venue of their choice, we only go where we're called, so don't be shy, come and play, click host a fiasco. Uh, submit your yeah, idea. That sounds more like a commercial. Because this should be more descriptive, like a documentary. Like, oh, 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 this is a mission, and people, nobody, nobody gets us. <laughs> no. And, like, it, I mean, like, matter of fact, like, like it's four things. People don't know, apparently people don't know what we're doing, or blah, 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 blah. It's, okay, so. It's really, it's four things. One, we're streaming our lives 24-7 for four months. months. Okay. Two. A fiasco. We're, we're, um, only playing fiascos, which have to be hosted by someone somewhere. Okay. Only playing fiascos. Which have to be hosted by someone somewhere. Three. Uh, we we have this uh, uh like the first leg highlight movie. It's a mini hippie fiasco movie. It's trying to to help people really understand what we're doing because we've we've had a lot of difficulty in people really getting it. But it's it makes sense because there's a lot of facets to the story. Um, okay, so right, one one uh, we are streaming. We're, we're, we're st uh, for four months, we're webcasting our life on the road 24-7 at hippiefiasco.com, picking up gigs along the way. Two. Or wait. Not picking up gigs along the way. Yeah. Not. Hippiefiasco.com. Two. We're, we, are only we are only playing fiascos which have to be hosted by someone somewhere. Three. A fiasco is a truly... Interactive, intimate musical experience, which three, is right. Three. Uh, right, let's let's change. Let's let's make one. The the level of participation hippie fiasco is asking from. Can you type it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good, it's good doing it out loud, though. No, no, I, totally. I, want, I mean, I, want, uh, I mean, we can, we can still no, I mean, workshop it. It. Sh it should be so short that writing it shouldn't be hard. That'll be part of the inspiration. Okay. I'll write it though. Um, it's difficult to describe my learning experience in trying to get other people to join the party. Uh, yeah, the problem is, I mean, I think what the problem is is we're taking something that's such. A, I mean, what we we're trying to distill it. Yeah, it like I mean, it because it means way more than this to all of us, like the three of us. The, I mean, this is so bare bones already. The thing that we just did in the playhouse, but what we're trying to do is give someone a, like a ten second snapshot of what it is and what they need to do in order to participate and make it work. Rant. Oh, great. Maybe we should make this like a separate thing and then like, you know, have like 
little explanation thing and then have like examples of the fiascos, you know, like right. clips from Molly's, clips from, you know, P Groove, clips from, you know, just what ifs. Right. Clips from each one. Yeah, because you know, it doesn't have to be on him the whole time. It could just be overdubbed. Yeah, voice overdubs. Right. Just right from that video, you know, just have like, you know, insert video of, uh, you know, the puppets and, and, you know, the P groove dudes and. Right. I'm going to puke up Golden Arias. I'm going to eat all these Golden Arias until I puke. Join Digit and his buddies in an interactive show <laughs> as as they enjoy music and engage in ridiculous antics. Just your general weirdness. Spank me. Spank me. Have you seen a fiasco yet, Spank me? I'm not calling you out, I'm just asking. Well, I call you out. No, 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 no. I, no, I'm excited. I'm excited, because I think Spank me just came in like four days ago or something, right? Um, you can actually go back... Uh, into the archives. Have you seen the movie yet? I like how Spank me hopped on the train right away. Well, she actually hopped on the bus because she's a bus driver. Oh. Yeah. She, like, Dude, you, you want to drive the Suburban? Should we play them the movie that we're working on? Yeah. You guys want to see the movie? We're, uh, can we just show it? Like, so you don't have to re hijack it? Good. We like that. We'd watch it a lot too if we weren't on this side of the camera. But the thing is, when I'm not on this side of the camera, I like to be sleeping or doing something, not watching. Because if I was watching, I'd just watch it in real life, you know? It's just as simple as that. That's, that's the rub. Plain and simple. <laughs> So this is where it's going to go, Digit. Hey, you. Hip. Right there, Digit's going to pop up and give a brief description of what Hippie Fiasco Rides Again is. Right, so. And then she's going to reference the orchestra here, too. Hippie, I'm here to tell you all about how you can make a paper mache lemon shaker so you can be a part of the orchestra. So just pay attention. It's real easy. Why isn't that rec Okay, it's recording. Recording. All right, so let's start all over. Hi, Chad Galactic here. Just back in from the pirate, pirate party. Nailed it. <laughs> just got my hair cut. Nailed it. Um, yes. Isn't that neat? I just realized that I, I've never... I wish he had figured it out, but maybe I'll get it now and it's still a good use because we have a long ways to go, but... Kevin could be pushing this as the Deer Puppeteer release tour right. with all the puppets going on and stuff. No, no a shit. Way to involve him more. Maybe once he sees this with Digit and the puppets and the Deer Puppeteer at the end. I think Digit might scare him. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Did you do this? No, they, they fell apart. You bullshit. I You're in there fucking God, stashing just, these in the mashed potatoes. No, I, I know. just put one back together and eat it right. All right, so maybe it should be like, who is hippie fiasco? Right. Like, it should be like, what did they say? Um, hippie fiasco started because of the festival. This is this isn't the real story. This is just the this is what it currently is. Digit explanation of so what, what so we're doing we've right been now. We've been traveling America. Nailing it. And a lot of people still don't know who Hippie Fasco is. I think there's a really good explanation on that in the highlights. Um, I was asked that question to Melinda. Or by Melinda, I mean. I was actually looking for something else and saw that. I remembered it. Have a good night, Spankney. Thanks for playing. Do you see that shit? A lit cigarette. <laughs> ah! You're not failing. We're failing. We should be able to fucking... Dude, we should be able to nail this shit in two seconds. It's it, hard. I know. It's hard, but it's like... Did you see that pluck a tail feather? I threw a lit cigarette in my mouth. Just for you. And for Nine Lives, but she's sleeping. How do you like the private show? Do you have Skype? You want to Skype in? You missed it? Are you fucking kidding? Leo's love it. Oh. Dick. Hard up. Are you serious? Did you not see it again because you're going to pee? And you're taking your contacts out. I'm doing a fucking risky magic trick. <laughs> Jesus. She really went away. <laughs> Seriously. Serious, Leo? She doesn't really explain the orchestra. No, she just references it. That's why it's good to have a little explanation before it. Right. Maybe you should just be like, hey, you, you want to be part of Pippi Fiasco? Post a fiasco. And just be like, 
Bring an instrument. Play from where you sit. Right. Like, what are you doing? Don't. <laughs> right. Don't get out there and host a fiasco. <laughs> right, a little pep talk to it. You don't get it? I think you should riff. Riff is right, going to. Give me the mic. I got it. You don't know what it is. What? I mean, what? what? You don't know what it is? Go to Urban Dictionary. <laughs> right. Look that shit up. <laughs> God, you make me sick. <coughs> We've been out here for a month and a half. Okay. You get a little surly. I'm so tired of hearing, is this thing on? It's always, it's always on! <laughs> okay, okay. All right, well, I can do it. Today we didn't feel like putting it on. So, no, it's not on this time. What about 24-7, don't you get? <laughs> it's on! <laughs> like my riffing! <laughs> okay, I can do it. Let's not wait for Pluck Tail Feather. Let's fucking seize the fucking day. Carpet. I'm going to put a call out for help making this commercial. We got it, though. We'll just catch the final success. Little pep talk. Should right. I give you a locker room backdrop? Being, is it the bar that's killing you? Oh, no. No, the bar, bar is great. I do my best thinking in the bar. <laughs> so I'm in a bar. And the gay guy says, can you push up my stool? And I jam myself up his butt. What? <laughs> Dude, it's 2.30. It's officially creeping out. All right. It's yeah, in, eight, in eight minutes. It's the official creeping hour. <laughs> right, was I shit-faced when I was riffing like that? It looked like it from that thing. No, you were meated. Oh, I was meated. Wait, shit. Just give me, can you go upstairs and give me some raw steak? <laughs> this is the list of what I need. This is my rider. I need some raw steak. I need some pudding, pudding pie. And a lot of soy ad. Soda. Soda. And some sweet tea. All right. Oh. It's, is the bar scene killing you? Can we have to pace back and forth? Can you hold the thing up here? Because mm -hmm. I've got a pace, and, and, and I'm not going to be able to hold it and pace at the same time. Just let's be like, you know, I can only do so much. Okay, um, first of all, you missed me throwing it in my mouth again, <laughs> first of all. So if you want to see it, I've already finished the cigarette. You can go back to the entire replay unless you highlight it. Um, am I going to throw it in again? No. Uh, my cigarette's out. Um, but we did figure something funny to do. Is that okay with the bottom there? Nope. A little more it marks. <laughs> we're uh, we're, we're do um, pluck a tail feather. We're about to do something unprecedented. So yo, I'm Digit the Midget. I've been on the road with Hippie Fiasco for a month and a half. And I need to give you guys a pep talk because nobody understands what we're doing out here. <sighs> what we're doing is we're traveling the, the earth. The, <laughs> okay, I gotta start over. <laughs> it's, gotta go, it's gotta go faster. But yeah, he's gotta get worked up and pacing. <laughs> Maybe I should blow smoke, do you think? Hold on. <laughs> because how, how long do I have? Like 10 seconds? 20. 20 seconds? Okay. I want to make the little bracket for this thing. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Rad. 
I got nothing. The screen must have fallen down here. Oh. She's like, rad, rad. <laughs> Gotta go down. There you go. I had no idea making this was oh, it's, be this good. It's not, maybe we can blow it in the top. Okay, how, tell me how this looks. Can you see that? Pluck a tail feather. Oh, I can look at it. Not really, huh? Well, here it comes. Did it work? Was it good? Okay. Yo! I'm Digit the Midget. And I've been traveling the, the country for a month and a half, and nobody seems to get what we're doing. I'm with Hippie Fiasco, and I need to give you guys a pep talk. <sighs> oh. We're going around the country, and we're only going where we're called, and we want to show up to your party. So you need to go on hippiefiasco.com and click on host a fiasco so that we'll come to your house if you share us with a good enough idea. Get it? Then we come to your house. And you play from where you sit. Right, some that, of your that, yeah. ow. <laughs> I don't know. Got my. Um, the smoking is not good. It just looks smoky. Yeah. And uh, I missed the voice. Oh right, right. He went. He went right. He went. You know, really, he went, co he went coach. Yes, right. He went coach. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But um, I wish you could see how we could see how hard you're laughing. Um, if you Skype us. And I didn't like. We want to play your party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have it's our party. It's a new musical experience too. Those aren't the words, but we want. No, just get in there and I just mean, do you, it. You got to tell them what's what. Hi, I'm Digit the Midget. I just got a haircut. <laughs> what? Old Digit voice. Oh yeah. Oh hi, uh, duh. I'm Digit the Midget, and I just got a haircut. Nailed it. Um, I've been traveling the country with the hippie fiasco guys um, for a month and a half now, and you guys don't seem to get what we're doing. We are out there streaming our life 24-7, and you should be watching us on hippiefiasco.com because it's really fun. And what we're doing is we are wanting you to contact us so that we can come and play in um, in your living room, in your tree house, in your nose, um, anywhere that you think would be really a good place for us to play a fiasco. A fiasco is really an interactive musical experience led by our captain Nathan Moore. He's a singer-songwriter. And what we really make, what really makes a good fiasco is when people bring musical instruments and they play from where they sit and they act. Oh, wait, oh, well, that was good. Everybody fell off the screen. Shit. That was good. Well, that's all right. There's going to be, we can cut and edit. No, oh, it's so good. I, I, I thought I, I was feeling it, and I went down the thing, and there I was. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just going to walk off the screen. Let's test it out. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I didn't have it very well lined up. Anyways. Is he in? He's not in. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Okay, well. Hello, I'm Digit the Midget, and I've been asked to talk to you guys. I just got a haircut for this. Nailed it! Um, so, I've been traveling for a month and a half with these hippie fiasco characters, and um, I don't think you guys are really getting what we're doing. Um, we are traveling the country, streaming our life 24-7 all the time, and you guys keep asking us, is the camera on? What do you think? We don't turn this shit off for a month and a half yet? Now it's going to be on until 4th of July. High Sierra Music Festival? Then we turn this shit off. <laughs> but it's not the voice. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Can we change his voice? I just fucking killed it. Can we more? Okay. okay. Ah. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Keep ripping. <laughs> no. Yep, I can splice. I can splice. I can splice. It. I know, but his voice was killing it. It wasn't. That's all gone. It's, okay. it's all out. Really, that was some really fucked up. Oops. Right I'm losing my glasses. He's really feeling that. Maybe. Um. 
I don't need a joint. I've got three of them. One, two, th one, two, three. See, check it out. I've been playing with my joint. Um. Hi, I'm Digit the Midget, and I've been asked by Hippie Fiasco to give a talk, the inspirational talk. So I got a haircut. Nailed it. Um, so now people are not understanding what we're doing uh, here. Um, we are traveling for a month and a half already, streaming our life 24-7. And people keep asking, is this camera on? What do you think? The camera's on. It's always on. We're not turning it off. Not until the um, 4th of July High Sierra Music Festival. Secondly, we are coming to your town if you invite us by hosting um, a fiasco um, on our website, hippiefiasco.com. When you give us the idea, we come to your house. Thirdly, we want to come an interactive musical uh, experience with you. That means you guys can participate in what we call the Morkustra, where maybe you bring some musical instruments, um, you can clap, or you can play kazoos from where you sit. This is called the Morkustra. Fourth, I think it is. We want you to play with us, so do it! Do it! Do it! <coughs> and fifth, we really love when you watch our program, so go to hippiefiasco.com, log in, and become a creeper. Chat with us as we travel the country. It's really fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm spent. That was awesome. <laughs> the grunting is key. <laughs> yeah, can we watch? Can we watch it right now? Okay. All right. We're, save we're gonna, it. Yeah, we're gonna save it. Oh, I lost it. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs>